We should be live now. Okay. Well, let me double check. Uh, yep, we're live. Awesome. Hello, everyone. Ace here, and today I am with Osmagon and Zerus once again, and we are once again having a look at Marnius Calgar, this time issue three. Now, the first live stream, we of course did issues one and two, and would uh, one of uh, you two be willing to provide a recap, perhaps? Uh, a recap of where we are so far in the Marnius Calgar comics? Yeah. Um, okay, shit happened. I don't care. Yay. <laughs> well, you see, <laughs> Marius uh, Kilgar was busy flying around, and apparently there was a couple of Chaos cultists, and like one or two Chaos Space Marines on some Ultramarines world. You know, Marius, actually, it's, I think it was Marius' home world that was being attacked. Uh, well, and Marius had yeah. brought along his, his little tech Entourage. priest buddy. More like a sidekick. The but, comic relief yeah. sidekick, never, nonetheless. By the way, I quite literally have like four shots prepared for moments where... Basically, I have a rule while we're doing this. I'm going to take a shot every single time something completely retarded is mentioned. You don't have enough shots, mate. No, I don't. But I only have four shot glasses. All right. Well, in that case... Uh... All right, so... All right, so we have Mr. Corgi asks, Hey, Ace, uh, Rut Row, is this one okay, bad, or trash fire? Let me put it to you this way. Issue 2 of Marnius Calgar, they killed off Marnius Calgar in his own backstory. And replaced him with somebody else. Yes, Marnius yeah, Calgar has been... farmer dude. Marnius Calgar has been dead the entire time. Well, not a farmer, known. his servant. Yeah. Also, uh, what do you think of the artwork on this first uh, opening cover? Very different and kind of ugly. And the most standout ugly thing is his face. That and just the proportions of the hands and all that. Although those are supposed to be giant, sure, but still. Pretty sure. Yeah. I mean, just, Everything's and just also a the musculature. All the musculature on, on the things in the, in the cover art. Wow, that is some... That is, look how far their kneecaps are just bulging from their legs. Like, Jesus. Yeah, that's true. All right. And also, wow, that, that is, this, this dude in front makes Marnius look really, 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 really huge. Yeah, plus the choice of etching style shadows. I don't understand that. Because the thing is, they haven't done that with the first two. Yeah, I think they've actually been changing up styles, at least on the front cover, a little bit. Well, on the second one, they used an etching style as well, but it's harder to tell because there's more brighter colors and more less shadows. But they used etching on the second one. The first one, they didn't at all. And the third one, they're using etching again all right, for so shadow. Mr. Corby says, to be honest, it kind of looks like half-rate manga. It's all right. Like something you found for five bucks at an old bookstore. I did pick this yeah. up for around five bucks, but it was brand spanking new. But anyways, you'll uh, let's get into it. We'll skip through this because we've already seen this. And you'll notice on the first actual page, on page three, I believe, the art style, of course, once again, looks completely different from the front cover to a hilarious degree. But anyways, mm -hmm. uh, let's go ahead and get into it. And I believe I was voicing... Something I, Im oh, I go immediately ahead. notice... The blues and the golds are a lot less saturated. You know, I think you might be right. Wait, hold on. Let me let me look. All right, let's go to issue one. All right, so and also, you are look. correct. Hold on, let me do the screenshot thing. These guys right. have better proportions in this first panel. Don't be too excited by that. It's not going to be consistent. <laughs> yeah, we've seen that oh, enough know. on this uh, series, but... There's also some light battle damage scratches and scratches all over the armor plate. Which fits, and I will say this. Uh, the at, at the very least, 
this comic is going to have more action than the first two combined. Yay. That's not impressive. <laughs> it's something. Close. It's something. That is but true. there, yes, don't worry, the stupidity will be continuing in this as well. Although, I'm not oh, sure joy. to the can degree that the first two were. All right. All right, it's so kind of slight, but yes, the satur I just shared the screenshots. The saturation of the blues is lower. They darkened it. You're right. I think they're listening to feedback. <laughs> That's funny. Your enthusiasm That's a good impresses joke. me. Um, McCorgy, uh, Mr. Corgi asks, how long is this issue? Not too long. We'll probably be getting through it in an hour, I suspect. Uh, and it's also... About 27 Abax pages, but the last yeah. four pages are typically, like, bonus stuff. All right, so, the Calgar Estates of Nova Thulium. And I believe I was voicing Marnius, so... Where are the heretics deployed, brother? Multiple groups are raiding freely. The planetary defense force is both too slow and diffuse, diffusely, and diffusely deployed to counter. We are but a demi. That's a new word. Yes, it is. I think I'm they're sure trying. Used correctly. They're trying to, uh, yeah, they're trying to use that, use certain words, I guess, for the day or something. <clears throat> we are but no, a. No, they used it correctly. Yeah. We are but a demi company. Hmm. We can deploy to crush the largest and ignore the rest. Be sure to signal our intent to all our allies. So. Huh? What? 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 Huh? So no, in other words. Like you were about to say something. So yeah, in other words, he's going to be attacking the largest group. I'm pretty sure tactics normally are that you attack if if the enemy split up, you attack the smaller groups before <laughs> going to the big one, but. Considering how quickly they beat the largest group, I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. But I will say that, uh, do you guys notice any problems potentially with their plan? Um, well... It doesn't sound like they have a huge plan. That, and if you remember correctly, the first two issues, I believe, or the f second issue at least, they turned the Calgar Estates into their local headquarters. I do yeah, remember they're that. Leaving state headquarters. It was harder to remember. The thing is, the strat the strategizing is clearly like playing second fiddle to Calgar, just kind of ranting about his backstory to the tech adept yeah. for no good reason. Yeah, and we're going to be getting more of that too. Oh joy! Uh, Mr. Corgi says, "Has the term demi company been used before in the lore?" I believe uh, so. Yeah. But Plenty yep. of times. Right. It's used been it's been used plenty of times. It's it's just a denomination of a full company is a demi company. So if they split up into smaller groups from a company, that's a demi company. Alright, so uh I believe we Pretty have one more line here for the Adeptus Mechanicus dude. Oh, I can definitely do this one. This is a voice I can do. And I just noticed that one of the pouches on that ultramarine's ass is blue instead of leather. Just keep going. <laughs> oh, I, no. um, let's not bother. We're going to be here all day if we <laughs> nitpick the tinies. The nitpicking begins. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have a headache. <laughs> hey, what do you expect with, when having me on? <laughs> no, I want to nitpick it too, but we'll be here all day. Oh, uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> Query. Where is this group in question? Alright, so next page. Blood for the blood it. god! And then we cut to this freaking... Um, what the fuck is that? I it, believe that's more, supposed to, to be... Mortal engines thing. And it, it, it's it, not. It, it, I know exactly what this is. It looks like a bulldozer, but like it's a tractor. It's supposed to be a tractor. A way. It's supposed to be a tractor, an agriculture machine. Okay, so they. Okay, so they elite. Uh, they stole one and then they cornified it. Yeah, I can believe that. That's that's not against the lore, and it's odd, but it's not unheard of. Yeah, so apparently it looks something the... straight out of Mortal Engines. It's still kind it does of appear to be yeah, but it's still kind of amusing that the most threatening group of the whole bunch 
is using a repurposed tractor as their uh, main weapon to fight the Imperium with. I think it's they just initially looking at it, it doesn't look like they did that much to amplify the corniness of it. They added a couple yeah, they spikes, added, like, a couple banners, a banners and that's marketing. it. Like everything else looks the same. Like they didn't even spikeify the dozer the dozer in the front. They didn't even get rid of the the windows which look very Imperium y. Mm hmm Clearly they went all out. <laughs> Clearly. All right, they, so I mean, come on! They could have just—they could have painted like a few panels, or maybe even the railings just red, you know. But I suppose they didn't have paint. Well, no, but apparently they had a couple spare banners. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so who wants to do the uh, voices for the cultists? Uh, I could do the one with the beaky. <laughs> the beaky? His mask looks like a beaky almost. Wait, is it? Yeah, I see it. I thought it was, thought it was drooping. Um, okay, I guess I'll do drooping. the I'll do the one with a hood. Uh, okay. Skull for the skull throne. The bird harvest is now. Corn will have his. <laughs> oh, of course, I'm the one who does. <laughs> Where did you? For the Yay, finally some gore in these comics. Yeah, I know. And this bit that I hate because look, Reavers gently floating down from the Thunderhawk. Because <laughs> that's not a. <laughs> uh, oh, Alright, so next page. So Alright. No, the heretics are resisting. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I, you, you would think they'd just stand there and get killed. Mm hmm. Excellent. If they ran, we'd have to chase them. You're on a tractor. Where are they going to run to? And they're corn. What? They're corn worshippers. With Zinch or Slanesh, I could see it possible to retreat. Unlikely. But possible? Because mm -hmm. Zinch likes to fuck with people anyway, so a retreat would just extend the fight, so. No, nah, just be a tactic to fuck with people. Run. Slash probably wouldn't, but it's more possible than corn. Corn, uh, corn worshippers, they're all about dying and killing and blood for the blood god. Their blood is only more blood for the blood god. Retreat is not a thing they do. Yeah, I mean, corn cares not from where the blood flows, right? Exactly. Slanishi marines, they definitely won't run away because they're the pain they would, exp the pain and pleasure they would experience when fighting ultramarines head on. Would be an absolute excess. Also, uh, also, you notice they're kind of pulling the punches with the blood too. Yeah, but on that subject, I think we might have found one of the reasons why there isn't so much action in this. Apparently, Jacob Kennedy and Mister McCorgy uh, both pointed this out. The artwork, especially on the first panel, look at Marnius's face. <laughs> There's no detail. The thing is, we we've, we've been seeing clear hints that the artist is very lazy. Like I don't want to shit on the artist too much because there's clearly some effort here. There's not. There is some attempt to be consistent. The colors are at least attempted to be consistent. The dimensions. There's an attempt. The shittiness comes in the fact that it feels rushed. Mm -hmm. Like it, it seems like the artist is has a gun to their head because a lot of the panels are really simplified artwork. Like if you look at the second panel the long the uh, horizontal one mm -hmm. that's the one where you can see the least amount of detail and the dimensions are the most terrible like yeah. look at the lack of detail in everything the reavers the, the reavers got really light, light lines oh. yeah uh, all right so <clears throat> kill them all and i ah uh, i will secure the controls now i'm going to um now, I don't have to show the hilarious... Well, keep that in mind that he decided to go to the controls himself. Just going to okay. make this a little bit funnier. And by the way, just to explain oh, my point I, about the blood I, a little I bit more, uh, people are going to probably rag on the fact that I said that. Let me explain more carefully. Um, I don't mean that they're not using any blood. It's how they're doing the gore. Like on Calgore's Fist, for example, is that how Blood Splatter works? It just sticks to the fist and doesn't get on the rest of them? 
No, okay, we but did not. On, quickly on that topic of the blood on the fist, there is only blood on the fist in one of those panels. It just magically appears and disappears. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow, that is so lazy. <laughs> Lack of consistency. And then he punches the other guy with the other arm. And where this is the other part I meant when they said they're kind of pulling the punches. You remember how in Damnation Crusade there was, you know, we could see the guts. We could like actually make out like the the middle section. Here it's just blobs of red. And and the closest we're actually getting to seeing like intestines and shit, like the detailed stuff, is with that third slot uh, the third vertical one down below. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the closest they get, and even then I can't make out if that's supposed to be guts or just more blood splatter. Yep. So that's what I meant when I said they're pulling the punches. Yeah. They're going all out with blood. They're just not going all out with the gore. Trooper Geo says, I hate how they did Calgar's origin story. Me too. Everybody does. Everyone like, does. Well, you're going well, to hate except it for non fans. Valrak, apparently. Valrak loves it. Uh, that's not, let's, not, let's not do that. I'm not here to throw shade at other people. Anyway, no, so let's go to the next page where the stupidity shows. really starts to begin, shall we? Oh, joy. <clears throat> oh, almost really a shot worthiness. Going on. This is going to be a shot, a shot worthiness. Oh, boy. I suppose I'll do the the old the, the adept in the driver's seat. <laughs> yes. The dupes of the false emperor will come. We must be ready. Give Khan his due. Be ready for anything. To Marnius, to all brothers, I'm in need of assistance. The gauntlets wow. of Ultramar are made for the slaughter of heretic, not the deactivation of agricultural machinery. Oh my god. Marnius Calgar. Oh. Defeat the hero, the protagonist of the comic. Defeated by the ignition switch on a tractor. That's two shots. This is my whiskey, too. I'm not sure how I'm going to title the review. Marnie's oh. Calgar defeated by an off switch. Marnie's <laughs> Calgar defeated by a tractor. <laughs> Oh. Yep. <laughs> Maybe Marnius Caligar <laughs> defeated by Road Rolada. All right. Where's my Roll <laughs> All right. So I just took, uh, let me refill my whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're at right now. All right, we're two shots this in. This is the state. This is the state of Warhammer 40k. Ladies and gentlemen, Marnius Kalgar being defeated by a goddamn rolled roller. Trooper Geo says just shoot the damn engine for fuck's sake, Kalgar. Uh, exactly. Uh, oh, dearie. Um, was that supposed to be a okay. badass line or something? It didn't even read like one. Like, I, how can you read that and think, oh, that was supposed to be a badass line? What? Like, it literally, he's just explaining in, in communications while the artwork is trying to depict this as like a badass moment. Like, at least give him an Arnold Schwarzenegger one-liner. This is just him explaining something. But it doesn't even show the slaughter. Okay, of the, in five of the seconds, I can come up with a better... I can come up with a better one-liner than him. All right, so here's how you do it. I will make my own off switch. Blam. That's all you had to do. That so, was better. I mean, Let it's me not great, shot. but it's still better than that. All right, go ahead, Zerus. Okay, I'm bad at one-liner, one so I have no idea. <laughs> I, would, I would go with time to plow the fields. <laughs> It's garbage, but I'll go with it. <laughs> it's something better than him just going, the gauntlets of Ultramar are made for the slaughter of the heretic, not the deactivation of agricultural machinery. Oh, I got one. I got one. The scythe has come 
for this for the week. It's okay. kind of a two-liner, but yeah, we'll go with that. Trooper Geo says, Calgar, you are more helpless than Ray from Star Wars. Oof! Oh, that was decimating. <laughs> Shots oh, fired. Heard... That's a punch to the gut, a punch to the throat, first, and gentlemen. that's a sidewinder to the skull. Yep. <laughs> Boom. You, you heard it here first. Ladies and gentlemen, Marnius is officially worse than Ray. Marnius what defeated a by a... How on earth do you get defeated by an R off switch in your own comic, Marnius? In a fight that you won. Somehow, and, some way. And what I find better is, remember, he came here alone to secure the controls himself. And then he also Why? helped. <laughs> like a small handful of cultists is going to no. make any... It, originally, he said he wanted to go himself, and then he calls for aid. When he realizes, oh crap... The controls that I was meant to secure, that I knew to secure, I can't actually operate. Genius. But then, of course, I I, I don't. And it's I, not I, I like don't any why it's... he wanted to secure the controls either, because in the next shot, we clearly see the whole thing burning. Exactly. So what, 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 what was, was the point? <laughs> what was the point? <sighs> like, oh, it doesn't make any sense. He tears open the ceiling, shoots at them, and then... I mean, you could argue like that... Whiny the... bitch for help. Yeah, anyways, but... Yeah, let's go on to the next panel. I'm... <clears throat> Alright, I guess... Blow my brains off. We'll, we'll do this in th three. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh hey! I don't know uh, which one's uh... We'll go left and then right. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three. Hail, Hail the, the angels, angels of the, the God Emperor. Emperor! Hail the deliverance, Hail the deliverance from, from heretics. heretics! Hail! 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 Your gratitude would be best expressed less by chanting and more weapons training. Wait, is he shooing them or is he aiming his gun at them right there? No, he's just shooing them. With a clenched fist. <laughs> With the gun pointing. That's why I'm confused. Is, is he like, I'm going to kill you? Or is he just like, get away from me? I can't tell. I love how the blood disappears in one panel. Or is on one implant panel. In the middle panel, it disappears. And then the third panel on the bottom left, it reappears. But Ace, that would require them to be consistent and do their job. Are you crazy? Look, look at the bottom right um, agri worker. That's not a run. That's a... You quickly, I, I go away. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, Inedible Grob says, I'm starting to see why Gilliman was disappointed in Elgar. Yeah. <laughs> Earfar says, yeah, no civilians are not supposed to behave like this. They're supposed to equally be scared and in awe. All right. Well, Space Marines are demigods. To the average yeah, citizen of the Imperium. At the same time, this is also an Ultramarines recruiting world, from what I've so gathered. It so... is, it, which is true. If it is a recruiting world, they're more apt to see Space Marines. So to them, they're, they're still angelic, <coughs> but they're less mythological. Actually, at the same. Okay. I just realized that was actually stupid what I said, because I just remembered um, the <laughs> devastation of Ball. And the Dante books. In those books, all of the, all of the planets within the ball system are recruiting worlds, but the civilians are still in shock and awe when Space Marines come around. So, I pretty much made a retarded <laughs> argument. Oh, that's okay. Well, it's not one without point. Uh, with certain chapters, recruit more often, but even yeah. then, the the more. I'd say the, the chapters that probably recruit the most are probably the Black Templars. Uh, well, Black Templars are the only ones that immediately come to mind because they're crusading, they're non-codex compliant, so they're constantly adding to their ranks. Uh, Alright, so who... Blood are... Angels are recruiting fairly um, stretched out. You know, it's like once in a lifetime. Once or twice in a lifetime. 
I, so well, yeah, human the next I could think of would probably be Space Wolves, but e even then, that's kind of loose. I mean, I can see why with the Space Wolves. For some reason, I'm thinking about the Mortar Factors. I don't know why. I don't know if they recruit that often. They have a weird way of recruiting it. We're recruiting, that's for sure. So, anyways, mm -hmm. uh, Osbignan, I believe you were doing Quintus, right? Uh... Aye. Aye. Oh, Zerus, you were? Yeah, he took over this time. Oh, okay. Yes, but there were too many voice lines and characters. Oh, I'm in a good one. Wow, my mouth is dry. Water. <clears throat> Coffee. Shut up. Anyway, moving on. What is our next next task, my uh, lord? Zero three one zero three zero one K. Multiple forces are still loose to terrorize the Outlands, and have been given time to redeploy. They will be causing havoc. <laughs> And destruction elsewhere. Not that I am questioning your tactical wisdom, of course, my lord. <coughs> my oh. god, this guy stutters more than I do. Of course, little Quintus. You do not seem overly interested in an early death. But tell me, what would you do? My area of expertise is logistics of threat strategic scale warfare and see attached data download. However, I would say pursuit is pointless. Move to the stronghold in the Kalgar estates. Wait for the next strike. It is, after all, presently defenseless. I'm sorry, what? So yeah, they left their headquarters undefended. Oh my what? god. Okay, I get that they're not Imperial Fists. They don't know jack about Siegecraft. But come on. Is Even that the another... Ultimate this is... like that's stupid. Is that another shot there, Asmagon? Yes. <laughs> okay. One, two... This is retarded. Let's... <sighs> one line and then we'll move on yeah and then all right so <clears throat> i'm gonna need did. some salty chips to avoid getting drunk at this rate <laughs> it is however we were talking of another matter you were interested in how i came to be dude are no, you sure this we is the not. right time to go over this while you were just in a battle and need to go off fighting somewhere else what's that a quick comment on Quintus. Yeah. Is is Marvel trying to portray this guy as being cute and insecure or something? Because that's what all I'm getting is cute, I, shy, insecure. I think he's one, really insecure, but his one organic guy is always drawn with this habitual state of concern <laughs> on his face. It looks like he's sad and eternally concerned it's it's just why and considering the only expression we can get out of him is one from the one fucking eyeball that doesn't help yeah uh mr corgi says there are layers of incompetence happening right now indeed all right so let's yeah. hear about more well, of yeah, the, pretty much the whole most of um issue two was about you know re well taking the Kalgar estates and making it their headquarters and all that but in the start of number three they completely abandoned the bloody thing without leaving any sort of defenses you know the, the truth is this is just you know as much as i dislike the ultramarines the the author and writer of this clearly hate them more than i do <laughs> Because they're depicted as having... Marnius himself is depicted as being obsessed with just telling his own fucking story. Like some pompous, self-aggrandizing prick. Mm -hmm. While making legendarily stupid decisions. Including, but not limited to, abandoning his 
headquarters entirely undefended by the sounds of it. Yep. To what? Destroy a small tractor? In the yep. grand scheme of things, it was a small tractor compared to things. All so right. Why? So, what was the significant? Because it was destroying civilian buildings. Yeah, that, that's. It was destroying a shanty as well. It wasn't. It, it was. It was basically it was destroying yeah. a couple of shacks. Yes. It really wasn't. It wasn't worth the strategic allocation of a full assault from Space Marines. But you see, Asmagon, that shanty was clear. That shanty was clearly critical to the Imperium War effort. Yeah. <laughs> so critical, in fact, that you needed Marnius Kelgar, the chapter master of the Ultramarines, to do it himself. To, yep, to bust into the tractor, secure the controls, and then someone ha have someone else do the controls because he can't do it himself. Wasting Five time. Space Marine scouts would have been able to do that. Yeah. But no, nah, you, you need you need Marnius for this. You, you definitely need Marnius Kalgar for this. I mean, also, how... I just noticed the, the, blood, the blood on his face is so lazily done, it's painful. Mm-hmm. A very, very cheap... It yeah, also changes it, shape as well. And yep. position. Like, it's on his nose in that in the lower right corner, but it's just on his his eyebrow and his chin in the frame before. Mm -hmm. So the blood yep. is moving to his nose, apparently. And in the right, there's a lot more blood near his lips, but the left, not really. And I'm pouring the other shots back into the bottle. I, <laughs> I want to stream. I want to be able to stream cyberpunk after this. So, <laughs> Oh dear. No, <laughs> there's at least something else. You're probably going to have to take a shot for. Uh, but anyway, yes. so Mr. Corgi says... You're going to love what I just skimmed through. You're going to love this, mate. The fact that they left nothing behind is ridiculously incompetent. Like, tarantula turrets do exist. I mean, they did show that, oh, well, when leaving, there was, like, one missile turret or rocket turret, and that was literally it. Mm. That was all that was there that I could see. Mm-hmm. All right, so and let's go to uh, let's go to yeah. the next panel before we stay here forever. <laughs> Flashbacks, yay! You're going to love when I yeah, you're gonna love this as gone. <laughs> uh, I, so. I was all right. So <clears throat> I was gone by the time they found the body, but I knew that would not be an escape. And by the way, for those who don't know, the dead body is the real Marnius Calgar, who died in his own backstory. May he rest in pointless peace. All right, so who is doing the voices? May him and his Skrillex hairdo rest. He has escaped this terrible comic. <clears throat> uh, Manius is here. He's dead. I probably should do a lighter voice since it's a kid. <clears throat> but I saw a vision of me fighting Manius, running a blade deep into him. It would be me who would have that honor, Kato. Uh, who's, who's doing, doing Kato? I'm not going to touch that. Okay. No, thank you. Your vision and your wishes are always confused, Severin. Desecrate the corpse if it makes you feel better. Marnius is, <clears throat> Marnius is dead. The little Tessitan lives. He will be trying to run. Find him! Bring him back to the altar! It needs the blood of one more to fuel our ascension! I knew that they'd be after me. They knew the tunnels better, the ways out. They would think I'd be trying to get to the exits before them. They were right about my direction but not about my hopes. Jesus Christ, this dude's muscles look worse than a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure manga. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, <Damn>. yes! <laughs> they went a little overboard with the veins. But look how massive they are. This, like, freaking... This dude's been pumping steroids harder than... To be fair, uh, in the Damnation Crusade comic, uh, <clears throat> in the Damnation Crusade comic, 
Rayclaw and his clan towards the beginning of those issues, they had pretty bombastic muscles. Yeah. So. <laughs> his muscles his muscles are bulging so much, he looks like he's about to do a Kamehameha against Vegeta at any moment. True that. Anyways, next panel. Uh, <clears throat> I wish I could remember more about him. He joined our little group in the final month. He must have done reasonably in this training, as he was still alive. He must have had a heretic's heart, as he was party to all of this. His name was Critho, Crito, something like that. That's all I have. I wish I knew more about my first kill. Um, why do you care? Why do you like, care so like, much about this guy? I, yeah, why would you care about your first kill, though? Like, that's not... As far as I'm aware, that's not an Ultramarine thing. Like, they're not big on, like, sentimentality of, like, oh, my first kill or anything like that. And also, that's not technically his first kill. Uh, I think it's his I mean, his first, first human kill, maybe. But definitely not his first kill. Mm. Did he kill... Oh, yeah, didn't he kill a wolf? Or a wolf-like yeah, creature on the Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was something jackal-like. Yeah, but I'm not sure why he cares. Like, that's not typically a mm. ultramarine. I, I it was space wolves. I could see it. Like, they're big on like the Viking s culture of like warrior, the fighting spirit, that kind of thing. Mm. It would be impractical to an ultramarine to care about something like that. All right. My basilisks would definitely care about their first kill. Yeah, but, but they're, they're, they're a hunting ultramarine. faction. All right. Because I, like, I myself love all hunting. Mr. Corgi says the way those kids are holding the revolvers upsets me. Actually, yes, that's a really good point. They're holding them like re well, the thing is the dumbest part is they're putting their hand on the fucking cylinder. So yeah. if you do fire it, you're going to interrupt the cylinder. Well, it's actually even worse or than that because it actually Plus they have their fingers on the trigger so they could accidentally shoot one actually, another. Actually, hold on. The guns have changed. In the first panel, they look like miniature, like miniature, miniature bolt guns. But then they become full-on revolvers in the next panel. No, they look like That's revolvers retarded. in each of the shots. Yeah, they look like revolvers in each shot. I mean, not consistently the same design because... Yeah, like, for example, the barrel size looks like a blunderbust in the upper right, but, but then it, looks they, slightly smaller in but here's, just one. Um, but here's the thing I was bringing up. With revolvers... Uh, you have to. Here's the thing, the cylinder, d the gases t have a bad habit of escaping through the cylinder on a lot of designs. The only design that you'll actually see as an exception to this is the Nagant revolvers. But what that means is, if you put your hand in front of the cylinder, you get the superheated gas of the cartridge firing into your fingers. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you can imagine just how unpleasant that would be. <laughs> Very. General firearm policy, whether it's revolvers or semi-autos, though, if, you have, if you're looking for a place to put your second hand to stabilize the gun, you don't hold it like it's a small shotgun or a rifle, though. You don't put your hand further down the gun. That doesn't yeah. make any sense. That's not going to add stability. It's not going to help recoil. You would, balance hurt the, fingers. you would balance your first hand that has the finger holding the gun by the grip, and, ha and preferably you have your index finger not in the trigger, Mm -hmm. You have it on the side. You only put your finger on the trigger if you're going to fire. If you know for a trigger fact you are pulling the damn trigger. Otherwise, finger on the side. Especially if you're working in a team where you have someone else like this guy does ahead of him who he doesn't want to kill. Assumingly. Trooper, so you Geo, would said, Trooper Geo says, very bad gun discipline, but again, they are kids with little to no firearm experience. I mean, they I, have had I, to I don't agree. Yeah, I do. Uh, I, I have to, yeah, I kind of don't really entirely agree either because they would have had to have used the things to protect themselves for about a year now. And again, Tactican had a fallen, like, las gun in a previous issue that disappeared. Mm. Uh, Zia Gold asks, what did I miss? Well, for a start, Marnius Kalgar got defeated by the off switch on a tractor. An, an overzealous yep. tractor. Yes. A and I'm three apparently. shots, in, I'm so three shots into my whiskey. You should have seen it. You should have also, seen it. It was so epic. 
Also, Marnius actually left his HQ undefended. Completely. Yeah, to do With this. With one rocket launcher turret. So I'm sure you'll... So I'm sure that's, of course, going to go completely well, right? Mm. All right, so Inedible so, Grob says, These kids have had weeks of training. You would assume that they would include gun safety. Yes, you would. You would assume so. It's bad Especially enough. Especially for ultramarines. That's just a dumb way to hold the gun, though. You would balance your first hand by putting your... So the hand that's holding the gun, you would put your other hand beneath that, gripping your first hand with your thumb on the other end of the grip to balance it that helps with recoil and stability like the way he's holding it again it's like a sh sawed off shotgun or something which is still dumb to hold it like that yeah uh... just a comment on the on the design why is the barrel so damn huge it's like a blender it's as bust. big as the cylinder you're right <laughs> that wouldn't work Almost either <laughs> that doesn't make sense it genuinely these people don't know how firearms work Nope. The, of course they don't. They're Marvel. Oh, they don't know gun safety. Games, they don't, they so barely know how to draw a fucking thing. So that that cylinder has one projectile in it. It's it, apparently it's according just, to the barrel size. Yeah, apparently it is all just decoration. You know what? I take it back. If it if that's not a real cylinder and it's just decoration then you wouldn't actually be getting burns from it because there wouldn't be any holes there, would you? Nope. But we all know it's supposed to be a cylinder, which is what makes this so painful. Okay. Yeah, I can see he fires at least three shots. Into and would it have killed them to course. just go to Google, press images, and, and just type in revolver? <laughs> no, like, just, yeah. a, just a yeah, quick... Like just, yeah, yeah, I'm not saying they have to go out and buy one. Clearly they are opposed to firearms, but... For five fucking seconds, just Google it. Like well, revolver. You have to. Oh. You have to understand. If they Googled revolver and saw what revolvers actually look like, proportionally speaking, then that would be disagreeing with their perception of revolvers, and they don't want anything to disagree with their perception of anything in the world. True that. So ignorance. Oh my god! Is I just got to look them. on. Oh, I just Jesus. got a better look at the cylinder in a lighter panel. Z oh Gold says, so this comic was made by someone who doesn't know anything about guns. Yes. Yeah, a 40k comic. Yes, exactly. Uh, oh, by the way, Osmogon, is this another shot moment for you? Or are you saving them for... No, a... I'm going to save the last <laughs> shot for something particularly bad. This is just dumb. Alright, so... Right, well, we need to continue, otherwise we're going to be here for yeah, three hours. Yeah, you're right. All right, next page. The Tantan. Oh, well, I was well accustomed to th to Thanton and his bobs. He's here! He nearly had as wicked a tongue as Cato. It stopped forever. It was a kill well made. I enjoyed it for the craft. I would have enjoyed it anyways. The surface was so near, but I, but I knew that was not escape. So, oh um, god! After okay. after seeing, yeah, the kill the, was well made. I enjoyed it for the craft. What? Right. Well, that makes no sense. Moving on. Yeah, but I can see exactly what you're talking about with the cylinder, with the revolver designs. And, oh my god, it gets pain worse. Of course it gets worse. <sighs> uh. Uh, Gold says, hey Ace, I got something you could do a video on. Do you know about Lily Or Orchard? Um, cool. Yeah, I don't know who that is, unfortunately. The name sounds familiar for some reason. Mr. Corgi says, look at the revolver on the ground. I know. I saw it. I saw it. I. What has been seen it, it, cannot it, be unseen. It looks like a grot gun. It actually looks like a grot gun. Apparently, the, apparently the, uh, the um, artist for these 
for these revolvers didn't think that ordinary revolvers had enough DACA to them. <laughs> anyway, we should continue. <clears throat> Moving on. Uh, this is the exit. Be careful of the traps. The surface was not an escape because there was nowhere to run on the moon. Instead, wow, I used the distract. I'd used the distraction to take the explosives from the traps, hid until they went rushing past, and then headed back to the room I'd seen earlier. If there was to be, f if there was to be no escape for me, there would be no escape for them. To all who can ear, to all who can ear, there are enemies of the emperors here. Of the emperor here. Send fire, fire and retribution. Um, quick question. Um, how is any of that machinery working? Yes, that and who, and who in the Imperium is going to know where exactly here is? Additionally, and on top of that, how does what is he just sending a general? What he? How does he know how to operate a radio? Uh, in operating the radio. How does he know anyone will pick up the signal? How is he powering the fucking station? In what, what, in what frequency is he sending the signal? There are... Uh. How, there's a billion and one flaws in just this one sequence, and they've done nothing to explain how the fuck this is working. And it, of I course, doesn't ignore the, the fact that, again, on this moon that is used to train ultramarines... They've let this element of heresy, this little outpost here, go completely unnoticed for how many thousands of years? Many. Apparently they got lazy. It was like, Commander, should we completely annihilate all remnants of this heretical location? Nah, it, it, it goes well. What? It's like throw rugs, you know? It just adds character. Leave it. Oh, and if, it, it's it's... There's a bunch of word bearer corpses here as well, so that makes sense. Are those word bearers? Yes, that's word bearers. Uh, if I can get to the freaking there we go. Yeah, I, so I was thinking world. I was thinking world eaters. Uh, so Mister no, Corgi are, says, gold. "Wait, why is heresy power armor here?" He is okay. Because, so this is because well, the, yeah. the so you you missed out, my friend, because this isn't the first time we've talked about this. We're bringing this issue back up. We were reading this uh, the in the first stream we did about this. We already like nailed this issue for like an hour. Mm -hmm. yep. They no Space Marine chapter on the loyalist end of things would just leave heretical remnants and not do anything about. It. They would destroy it. This place would be a crater. It's fucking well, ridiculous. Not this time. No, apparently it just eh, it's, uh, you know, it's decorative. Let's leave it. And it's yeah, pretty clear it's, it's, it's that they know that this is here because a this planet's supposed to be a training planet, supposedly. <clears throat> Additionally, to it being a training world where the Ultramarines apparently have their, I don't know, their new recruits being trained. Again, this is fucking weird. But, th okay, so this is also very close to Ultramar. It's within the same system as far as I've been able to, to pick up. The Ultramarines would have thoroughly searched every nearby planet and would do regular patrols and scans to look for shit like this. And if they found it, they'd nuke it. Mm -hmm. They are supposed to be the most quote-unquote practical and logical chapter. They don't, I don't. They make mistakes, but they don't. They don't make stupid ones like this. Agreed. Often. Well, not until the Marnie's Calgar comic, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> indeed. Whoops. Have you have you taken your shot yet for how ridiculously stupid this is? I'm waiting to the end. I have one shot left. Aww. All right. So next panel, we of course see the Chaos Altar. From issue two, also that would, that would be there the entire time because yeah, yeah, and it makes it plainly clear that it has been here the entire time. Or, but anyways, let's go in. If I knew, if I couldn't run, I wanted to spend my life well. I knew not of the altar, but it reeked of wrong. I had not read the Codex Astartes then, but I would have been pleased to know 
it would have approved of my actions. I hoped that <laughs> with the traitors gone, I'd have a chance to set my improvised bomb. Alas, not all the traitors had left. All right, so how how would he have that much expert training with explosives? He wouldn't. Exactly. I mean, maybe but you could he's, argue... He's showing, he's showing scout-level tactical ability here, a scout marine. Mm. And he's not even a scout yet. No, he's, he's not even that. He's still just a kid, and the training we've they've shown us he's gone through is just basic brawling like fisticuffs fighting nothing tactical nothing advanced that this is it's it even, it's it's not even basic military training just survivalist crap. training exactly not, so not even that. well no uh, to a degree it is survivalist training because they were like left on the planet and they had to get to a location they had to survive the wildlife that's all technically speaking survivalist training it's mm. utter garbage but yeah still. it's bad survivalist training but it's still survivalist training Anyway, so, the way you do it. little Taciturn, are you here skulking? You toasty. You huh? I just, I'm just we're trying to figure out how they just know he's back at the altar. Huh. You took the explosives. Because they do know. So you either, so you are either out on the surface hoping to lay a trap, or have mine to destroy my treasures. Remember, I have found all you would-be marines before, and can do so again. I can find you as surely as the altar found me. So yes, the altar oh, has the been altar there. The, found you. the altar has been there the entire time. Just a random chaos altar in the McCrag system, left alone by the ultramarines. Also, uh, you, you gotta love how this guy just has a chain axe all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. Like, this is the first time we see him with a chain axe. He just has it. The excuse for that, I suppose, is that he picked it off one of the corpses, but the question would be, why didn't he do that before now? Yeah. yeah that wouldn't make sense, because the fuel and power system would be completely depleted. Mm-hmm. And it also, by the way, so I do need to mention this. Uh, so, I had some people, when it came to the Marnius Calgar Issue 2 review, say that the teacher dude here that's supposed to be training the marine the ultramarines um that he might have just base just then turned evil or to the ways of chaos what but, yeah they were trying to argue that he had just then turned to the ways of chaos because it's not made clear when he did but this makes it quite clear that he um... has done this for years now because he says he found the old would-be marines before and can do so again that, and if those idiots who said that had been paying any fucking attention, he clearly mentioned that he had been planning this all along. Mm -hmm. He mentioned that in pretty damn sure in the last issue. So, nice try, but yep. for your theory to work, you'd basically not have to be not paying attention. Which they aren't. I mean... I mean, if they were paying attention, they'd try to come up with better theories at least, right? I'd assume so. All right, so next panel. I took aim. I had but a single shot in the purloined gun. It had to count. For years, I was a simple trainer until the visions came. I followed them here. It made me promises, delivered warriors unto me, feed it, and it would feed me. It promised me vengeance against the marines who slighted me. I was afraid. And why didn't they fucking kill you? I thought myself That's usually mad. how it works, but apparently not this time. I pulled the trigger. But if this be madness, who would be sane? And you see the gun apparently click, jams. Click. <laughs> yeah. It's a... Okay. Let's just keep going. The gun jammed, betraying me. I had two hopes left. Right, the first, that, that I could outrun them. That was delusion. The other was that I would be avenged. That I had called for help, not expecting to live to see it. I pictured ranks of militia landing on the moon. Enforcers with their shock bat batons in hand, crushing descent. Or even a fiery, or even a fiery bombardment from the heavens. 
which is what the Ultramarines should have and would have done, knowing this location exists and the bodies of heretical space marines dead d uh, <clears throat> implies that there was a battle Ultramarines v uh, Chaos, mm -hmm. and that if they did fight here, that means they know this place is here, so why didn't they nuke it? Yep. Exactly. <sighs> so next panel. But it was a mere day before the aspirant testing was to begin. The space marines were already here. It was the first time I saw one in the flesh. I thought him a thousand feet tall. One thing I want to point this out. This pose is so retarded. It is really dumb. But one thing I want to point out is... I did see at one point someone make the claim that this whole training thing with uh, Kato on this planet and this stuff was all uh, a plan he made and that he lied to people, like lied to their these kids' families, telling them that like this was like the official process to training a space marine and that this wasn't, that this planet wasn't an actual training planet. Um, if that's the case, guess what? <laughs> Do -do -do! <laughs> Apparently it is. Oof. You fucking morons. This is proof, because they were already here, meaning that this planet is a training planet, meaning they should fucking have scoured the surface and any subterranean scans to know that this altar exists way before now and would have nuked the thing. But no, it's it's a decor- Oh, shut. Give me my shot. Oof intensifies. <laughs> oh, I, I don't- I hate- Oh, my- I, uh, This pose. Oh. Wildest pose. And the- Look at his arm on the other side. That extends all the way down to his thigh. Wait, what the hell? Why and how? Why? Why is he in that pose? Why is his arm like that? Maybe he's scratching his what? ass? No, it's because <laughs> it's extending <laughs> past his ass. Well, yeah. Is he tickling and his also, own ankle? Um, the... The size of the shoulder pads are completely different. Mm -hmm. Same with the knee pads as well. Wow. Consistency is not a thing. Consistency. I swear to God, the artist had to have a gun to their head the entire time. I mean, I can't draw, but if I had a gun to my head, I'd probably try to not... I'd probably try to make something passable enough not to get shot. This is like... The... Ooh, yeah. The thing is, this is supposed to be one of the more, like, the more, like, let's compare this to Damnation Crusade, all right? When they did a similar review yeah. with Space Marines to this. Oh, okay. Boy. They were consistent with the dimensions. The artwork was powerful. The lighting wa was very angelic to depict, like, this epic moment. Mm -hmm. They put they put all the stops to make that look beautiful. The dimensions were consistent. The artwork was consistent. And the armor was drawn superior to this. Here, up no, until the there's no point. angelic lighting. There's no uh, abstract design to it, which is fine. That's fine. You know, depict it as just a casual thing. That's fine. But why, if you're going to do that, why on earth do you put it in a panel focusing on it like this epic moment, but then you do nothing to make it appear epic? And not only do you not do that, but the dimensions are inconsistent. The artwork is inconsistent. The pose makes no sense. And it's generally the ugly. Portions of crap. It, like, wh like, why? Why? Like, the amount of effort put in Damnation Crusade's artwork versus here, it's a fucking insult. Remember when I said it was going to take why an hour, maybe less? Why does so small? I don't know. Oh, uh, well. So, Kakiel says oh, wait, it would literally it would literally take negative number IQ to like this trash. Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears> hmm <throat> You'd have to not know a damn I mean, considering thing. Considering the people that do like it. Trooper Geo considering says. Considering what we know about the people that do like it. <laughs> Trooper Geo says he could be reaching for his pistol, and the thing that we see is the holster. What? So um, the holster is blue yet again. Um, like, do, do these people not know how to to draw leather? I was about not to say that hard. the belt is also blue, but. We have seen that the belts on Space Marines are very inconsistently colored mm -hmm. universally, so I'm, I'm not even going to touch that. The pouches and the holsters are typically either black or brown to depict some form of leather. 
Uh, Trooper yeah. Geo says, in but my opinion, the best 40k comic art is Blood Quest. I heard about Blood Quest, but I couldn't find anything about it. I um, haven't read it. Uh, of course, I have to compare his Damnation Crusade, and I think that's leagues infinitely better than this. Yeah. The effort in that shows actual love for the universe. This shows, Will to me Iron. anyway, that someone had a gun to their fucking head. Will of Iron is leaks better than this. Will of Iron, despite any issues I have with it so far, which is very few with where we're at, we're at to that comic, is very good. This is a trash. And the thing is, this is supposed to be like the 40k comic. You know, this is supposed to be like the big, uh, the big one for them. Like Marvel Comics, one of the biggest comic producers in the world are producing a 40k comic this is supposed to be their entrance to the big leagues and this is what we get yeah. it's not even it, it can't hold a fucking candle to damnation crusade or will of iron or any of the fucking comics that probably already exist mm -hmm. yeah but you, you also have to keep in mind that this is modern marvel comics so yeah that doesn't really count for much in terms of no, but the reputation Marvel. still exists, and they are still the one of the more mainstream. And the punchline, uh, their is reputation a... is quickly dropping. And the punchline, it, it is yeah. very quickly. It's plummeted in the last two years. And the punchline is that the people that were supposedly working on this are that what you'll hear from the woke hammer community is that the people that were working on this particular comic book series are supposed to be fans of Warhammer 40k. I call bullshit. Mm-hmm supposedly fans yeah emphasis on the supposed yes all right so just nothing we've the, seen the so far shows used to write the mini comics for the old warhammer book thingies the, the old magazines doesn't mean he's actually a fan of it and it doesn't mean he's actually good at it which clearly that's what we're seeing here the best case scenario, they are fans and that they were just rushed and couldn't be bothered to do half an ounce of research. Hey, uh, Osmogon, uh, so Dragonus Wolford says to you, do you know how the dude is able to carry a corn berserker chain axe in one hand? Nope. Good question. <laughs> Apparently his bulging muscles are just that good. I've heard some people suggest that what might be going on is that he might have received a few of... Uh, bits of the gene seed or something like that because people noticed uh, said they noticed what looked like scars that would suggest that he had gotten the black carapace but that would mean that he pretty isn't the black that carapace the last be... thing that you get but yes it's one of the very last things you receive he is definitely not as big as a space marine definitely not as big and as a space no, marine that is that is not a mark and for the thing is carapace. if he failed the initiation he wouldn't it, it, it uh, Okay, we've already pointed this out. Yeah. But even if he started the initiation and didn't receive any of the genetic changes, and he failed due to corn like behavior or because he was too aggressive or anything like that, we've already pointed out that he would not be walking around doing whatever the fuck he wants. Okay. Secondly, they certainly would not have a failed initiate train new ones. That's retarded. In any chapter, I can't think of any chapter that dumb. Even the space, even the Ultramarines, who I despise, they're not that fucking dumb. Okay, this is an insult. Listen, I was, I love this. I love to hate the Ultramarines, and this disgusts me. Okay, this disgusts me because there's absolutely no recognition of the existing lore or information that we know about the process of training Space Marines in this whatsoever. None at all. Yep. They would not yep. allow anybody who's not a a past battle brother, an actual official member of this uh, of the chapter, to train new initiates. They would not do that. Period. They certainly would not have allowed failed initiates to live normal lives again. Especially if their failure was about their behavior as opposed – if you fail because you have corn-like attitude or you – they would kill you mm -hmm. on the spot. There would be no questions. There'd be no interrogation. There'd be no, okay, you just fail. Goodbye. See you later. No, there wouldn't be anything like that whatsoever. They would bolter your head off and call it a fucking day. They'd burn the rest of your corpse. They or would the not allow you to live. Literally just chuck you into an oven. Well, they, they, yeah, they'd eat you. But every other chapter, you'd be dead. No question. 
If you're corrupted, you are dead. Period. If you fail because of a physical injury, like you're fucked up, most of the time that's because you're going to die anyway. And if that's the case, they usually turn you into a servitor. Mm -hmm. Or the, best ca the absolute you... best case scenario for a failed initiate is you become a chapter serf. And chapter serfs don't train initiates. They're like squires. They clean armor. They do basic uh, maintenance stuff like that. They are helpers. That's it. I was going to bring that up earlier as well with the whole chapter serfs thing. Yeah, but the thing is, the argument that he's a chapter serf doesn't make sense. Yeah. Nope. Not even close. Because they don't let chapter serfs train new initiates. Chapter serfs are failed initiates. Uh, Tripper Geo says, I could be wrong, but I didn't read the previous issues, but didn't he say the Ultramarines didn't even select him for training? They did actually train him a little bit, but he failed, right? Yeah, they yep. did select him. He failed. He's mentioned that multiple times, that he was actually doing the training and then failed. Which is, which that was part of the plot was, since he failed, he's going to make sure no one else does. And which is, yeah, which we, you Basically already went over why that is. Cliche revenge stuff. Anyway, so, so let's go to the next page. <clears throat> what do you do? At last, I am Crixus, headhunter. The altar delivered you to me, too. Death to the false emperor. I saw the monster that was Crixus' advance, full of dark power and madness. Any man would have run, but the marine? He knew no fear. I mean, why would he? He's up against a, basically a normal human. Yeah. Although, Question. now that you... Although, actually we're on proportions, shouldn't Crixus look a lot smaller than he does yes. in comparison to the space... Yeah, and if you just he go should. one page back, if you go one page back, what is what is Tactican? Not even Calgar. What does Tactican say? The Space Marines are already here. It was the first time I saw one in the flesh. It, I thought him a thousand feet tall. So he's depicting him as larger than he what he's ever seen. Mm -hmm. And he's been around Cato significant uh, for a significant amount of time. So if Cato is cool. supposed to be genetically refined to the point where he's Crixus, the same size. Crixus, Crixus, not Cato. Crixus. Yeah, Crixus. Okay, that dude, whatever the fuck his name is, I don't even care. This fucking dude. Crixus. Mm -hmm. If he's depicted as being as big as him, they've already failed. Miserably. Because it doesn't make sense with what what fucking Tactican said, one frame rate. I, I thought him a thousand feet tall. That implies he's never seen someone this big. But Crixus is then depicted on the next page, at the very bottom, as being the same size. In fact, he's even picked it in the top right as being pretty much the same size as well, or if not even bigger. So this makes no sense with their own writing. I guess, I guess, so, according to their logic, he already was supposed to be augmented or given the gene seed or whatever. They would not have given him the full. I know, I know, but that's what they're trying to do with this. That's actually more reason they would have killed him. Yeah, I know. If he was that far along in the process and then he showed corruption, even more reason to kill him. Because he's a genuine threat now. Exactly. This makes no sense. So, Ace, remember when you uh, thought that that extension from the Space Marines, what we thought was the arm? You Remember when you suggested that might, that, that might have been the... Well, someone might have been the pistol holster. It is. Um, yes, that is. It is. It is that. Because <laughs> uh, leather's not also, a thing. Well, I, okay, also, so credit to the person that actually mentioned that. A good call on that. Good call mm -hmm. on that to the person that yep, mentioned you that. Good call, call on that. Perfectly. Also, chain sword stopping a fully charged power sword. Right, and the, and the chainsword is just continually continuing to, you know, you know, it's it's not stopped by the power sword in any way. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Mm. Oh my god! Next page. Crixus Cri is dead. Yay! Crixus died, knowing he was not warrior enough to match the Space Marines. In defeat, wow, he would gain a small, a certain small sucker. 
His blood had enough warrior in it for the altar. And what get ready ever. for get ready for the shot. This, oh, my God. this part I this part I already know. There's the shot. This I is a warp it. storm, ladies and gentlemen. The smallest warp storm in the history of Warhammer 40k. Behold. It's a little baby. <clears throat> I only looked for a second before averting my eyes from the horror that opened in space. I feel that I was I, that was what saved me. That's not a warp storm. That's mm, one does not survive exposure to what lies beyond. War hazard, Sergeant Arta to all brothers. Withdrawal. This place is unstable. Hey, we're taking a lot of the voices for uh, from us. Okay, okay. So, who wants to do the space brain? Zerus, you do it. Okay. Warp hazard. Sergeant Arta to old brothers. Withdraw. This place is unstable. We left with the screaming of Cato and Severin chasing us. I hated them. They had killed my friend. But the pain in their cries was such... That I felt sympathy, but I was youth. Hold on, what? They're not. Why? They're 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 not. Whatever. Yes, and also all they had to do to survive the warp storm was leave the caves. They're not even getting dragged into it. Yes. It's depicted as having like no suction outside, like five foot distance of it. Yep. So if it was a warp portal, they've already failed on that regard. It's still a tiny-ass warp portal. That being said, the, these things are like a black hole. They suck shit in if it's mm -hmm. a warp portal. And I think it's supposed to be a warp storm because I did some reading up on warp hazards specifically, and it does seem to be referencing warp storm from what I've read. Okay. But If it's supposed to be a warp storm, it's incredibly fucking minuscule. I agree. The I think the smallest warp storm we've ever seen is the warp storms in the Dawn of War 1 games. I think that's the smallest warp actual warp storms we've ever seen. The vast majority of warp storms as they're depicted in the lore are massive. They're able to block off sectors of space in terms of communication and travel. They're, Example, they're the Badab War. The Badab War is a good example. The Age of Apostasy. There was a lot of Warp Storm fuckery going on there. There's also the uh, <clears throat> the Age of Strife, and of course, you know the one of the biggest backbones of the lore. The reason humanity went from being like the golden age of power and control to what we now know as the Imperium. The whole reason humanity had had a fall and needed to be risen back up by the Emperor was there were massive warp storms all across space because of the birth of Slanesh. Oh, uh, so some comments, guys. So Mr. Corgi says, Why is the Marine saving Kalgar? Wouldn't Kalgar be suspected of corruption and killed? Yes. Exactly, yes. Also, also I'd, like to, I'd like to point out in this picture, um, Yeah. anyone else notice the color change in the fucking holster? Yep, yep someone else did. Uh... I believe... Oh, crap. Now I see it. Wow. Yeah, Dario Jim Watt mentioned oh. that. Uh, and also, Dario Jim Watt said, So they had a Chaos Altar potent enough to open up a warp portal that easily on a McCrag training room. Or training moon. Mm -hmm. Yes. That he just left it there. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, and also, I'm sorry, but Takatan's arm should be crushed to dust. Yeah, the yeah. They, both of them should be dead. Like, I can believe a marine, if there's enough distance, could get away from a warp storm erupting into existence. Not a human. They're too close. Yeah, you, we, we can see, clearly see that the space screen grabs Takatan. Depicting that there's some kind of go. suction. And then lets him go the yeah, next time. Yeah, but then just let him go. Yeah, so that means whatever whatever reason, like, why why did he grab him? <laughs> You're right. Was it because the portal was sucking things to it? Like, it's supposed to? 
Okay, then why is he let him go next frame? And apparently they're just fine. So the only reason he's he grabbed him was to basically gesture him to walk away from it. And a Space Marine, as far as I know, wouldn't waste the energy. If you're too stupid to run away from a hazard like that, you're dead. Yeah, I know. Well, salamanders would do something about That's, it. But this is an ultra, not a salamander. Humans. They love humans. Yeah, well... Ultramarines don't. Ultramarines are the bog standard space marine. They wouldn't really care. It would be a waste of energy. Things. Yeah, he wouldn't really care. <laughs> Alright, so Trooper Geo actually mentioned with regards to Calgar getting, or Teston, getting killed on the spot. What uh, He says, no, because the marine arrived just as Calgar was about to get sacrificed. Uh, what do you I guys I mean... Wait, where is it? So they had a chaos... I mean, uh, technically... Uh, uh, now, what's that in response to? Uh, it's in response uh, to the idea that Calgar should have been killed instantly by the Ultramarine on suspicion of chaos worship. No, they would still suspect it. Whether he was going to be sacrificed or not would not be necessarily an implication of whether he's innocent or not, especially with corn. Yeah, because because corn chaos... corn worshippers kill uh, execute themselves. Yeah, uh, well, inedible... chaos worshippers in general like to execute themselves quite a lot. Exactly, it's it, it, the blood god does not care from which the blood flows. Inedible grub says. Neither does Lanesh. What did the warp storm even accomplish? They killed some kids and collapsed a cave in an empty room. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. This was the evil plan all along. Uh, Jiro Jim says, wait, so this would have happened even if they just sacrificed Kitty Calgar. Yes, they would yep. have all ended up dying anyways. So it basically was... suicide. Yes, this is their... That is not the coordinate way. This is their okay. big. Pl this is this was Crixus's big plan for revenge. To, to accidentally a to... unimportant, tiniest of all time, warp storm. And all it does is warp. cave, cave in the the warp location. Warp hazard. Is that, that the only reason they use that term? Is because they know full well. If they, I'm assuming they know full well that if they use the term warp storm. That that would imply that that planet is about to get a get blown up. Yeah, uh, the... I mean, considering what we've seen already up to now, I don't think they would actually care if they call it a warp storm or not. All right. So, a comment from the purest form of cancer. Who I agree with this comment. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, awesome profile name, by the way. Mm hmm. Being a sacrifice to the ruinous powers is often considered a sacred duty by their worshippers. They would exactly. still have killed him to be sure. Yes. Exactly. That's why I, I don't agree with that earlier statement. Like, whether they saw him about to be sacrificed or not, they know full well how corn worshippers work. He had no reason to believe initially that even if Calgar was protesting, that's not necessarily any kind of indication that he's innocent in all this. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to say the Space Marines are as bad as the Inquisition with their suspicions, but they're pretty close. They would not have taken a chance. Eh. If it was if there was even a single doubt, they would have put a bullet in him. Or in this case, a bolt around. But he saves him, and again, this whole depiction of what's going on doesn't make sense with how warp storms or warp portals work. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next page. Mm -mm. Uh huh. Oh wait, there wait, is more dialogue. Oh, I, actually, I love this. Okay, okay. so Zerus, I believe you're voicing uh, the space marine. Yay! Why are you here, boy? Sympathy is a vice for the young. Aspirant testing. I'm an aspirant. Uh, a poor start. An aspirant of quality. Of quality should be back on his feet by now. I had survived and my childish here we go, ladies adventure. And now my life would become difficult. Alright, so who wants to voice the guardsman? I'll do it. Right. <clears throat> my lord, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have ill news. The Calgar states have been seized. 
Oh, wow. Oh, it's almost like, it's almost like abandoning your HQ to destroy a fucking tractor was a dumb idea. Now listen, I understand that the Ultramarines are not Imperial Fists. They don't understand Siegecraft with a fucking dam. But this is just insulting. They're so dumb that Helgar himself and the entire of his semi of uh, his demi company abandoned their headquarters to destroy a fucking tractor uh. <laughs> for no good reason yep also i love how they also depict calgar with an extremely small head in the bottom left panel it's almost like they're trying to physically manifest his stupidity it's for <laughs> Small brain moment, yeah. Oh my god. As an <laughs> Imperial Fist um, fan, this is painful to watch. And even though I dislike the Ultramarines quite a bit, this is just insulting. This is just ins Is that... Uh, Mr. Corgi oh. says, layers of incompetence. Oh, but wait, there's more. Okay, okay so... Wait. There's more. Let's go. and yeah. also Star Wars: The um, Old Republic guy so... says, "Ah, Chaos Warshippers are funny sometimes." I remember the Kafus Kane book three, where the Slanesh cultists were like a pride parade. Well, it is Slanesh, but anyways, let's yeah, go. So oh, sorry, go on. This is this is going to be a massive nit nitpick. Go this ahead. Spice Marine is depicted as having decently dark skin. Okay. That does okay. not make sense for someone on a moon. I mean that. If yeah. Everyone knows. Wait, you mean the lighting? About how space marine, how space marine skins work, how the space marine skin works. This makes no sense. He would not be having dark skin while on the moon. There yeah, is no be reason for it. Because he has an organ that literally changes his skin color depending on how close he is to a star. Or radiation. Uh, yeah, well, then again, Games Workshop have. Yeah, they've thrown that out have, the window. I know. Um, they they did. Yeah, they've 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 all but retconned it out of the lore. In recent times, mm -hmm. kind of love right. I do say all but. I also dropped what was holding my iPad up, so I got to find that now. All right, Chicago Swarford. Can I say this? Marnius Calgar in air quotes is a strategic genius. Actually, wait, our HQ. <laughs> wait for it. There's more. Oh, God. This is like the most painful game show ever. But wait, there's more. Fuck me. By the way, they keep but changing wait, the color of that. Damn, they keep changing the damn color of his uh, holster because it was brown. Yeah, I see it. Page. Now it's gray. <laughs> I guess okay, it's going to be blue in the next fucking frame. I guess the holster was what actually received the gene seed. Apparently, it's just like, yeah, I'll we'll switch color depending on the environment. Oh, God. All right, oh, next, next page. The, the, yep. It's the same for the scabbard of the sword as well. Yeah, I know. Because previously it was blue as well, but now it's black. All right, so... And a bit gray. All right, okay, so well, who, who is voicing uh, Quint Quintus? Beep, boop. Uh, yep, that would be serious. All right. I'm sorry. Right, I'm just going to drink right from the bottle this time. <laughs> save your sorrow less dead oh, here than fuck. any of the save your sorrow less dead here than any of the other attacks it has gathered the heretics to this one place where they can be crushed they took the bait I signaled our intent on a channel with limited security we knew they were listening it was a duel hold on yes he planned to have his HQ be overrun This was all his plan, apparently. Okay, okay. This makes no they could, sense. They could, they could redeem it. They could redeem it. Let's see, like, They're how the strategy is. Like, but, what, what is it? Because there's been similar strategies done before, okay, to be fair. And they've been good. Uh, tricking the enemy into attacking your HQ, abandoning it, and then attacking it from all sides surrounding it. That's not a bad strategy. Mm hmm Assuming they do it right. Whew. But this is the Marnius Calgar comic. Oh, here we go. Yep. 
<clears throat> it was a duel, and I left a fake opening. Always one of my old f friend's favorite tactics. He would approve. Oh, okay. So it's not actually his tactics. It's, it's Calgar's. Marnius's tactics. The real Marnius, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Marnius oh, was never a space nice. marine, never a soldier. He's talking about when he was practicing with his blades. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's kind of lame when you think about it that way, but still. It, yep. It, it's, uh, it's kind it's, of a stretch. Anyway. Efficient. Devil advocacy circuit engaged. Query. Would Marnius approve of destroying your childhood home and its inhabitants to gain tactical advantage? This is not my home. My home is the Imperium, not any individual house. And the house of Kalgar is well acquainted with sacrifice. One second, I'm getting an important call. I'll be right back. Alright. Well, this is actually pretty much the end as well, but... Alright, so... I hate this! I hate this! Please kill me now! Hey, right, never mind. It was a telemarketer. I thought it was who I was expecting. Never mind. That's okay. So Post yeah. So we're pretty much at the end of the comic now. Uh, Code Man says the people who made this are Discord moderators and their self inserts. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Corgi says so. He's basing his war stratagems on a dead kid. Yes, he is. Uh huh. So right. There's still a bit of flying to do. So we are finally getting an act, something actually happening in this comic. Halfway oh, through the entire series. Well, more than halfway. <laughs> yeah, most of the way through. So what do you guys think of issue number three? You still haven't done the last line. Oh. Just pointing that out. And the House of Calgar is well acquainted with sacrifice. Um, there we go. I'm pleased. There's a little more action than usual, but it was still rather lacking. Yes. And generally speaking, it made some incredibly amateur and retarded decisions. Mm hmm. It neglected massive chunks of the lore. Mm hmm. The one thing I will say about this lost art piece that I. and it's the only thing I like about this. There are more firstborn in this picture than Primaris. I see only Primaris. Um, the Whirlwind and Rhino tanks, the speeders. Oh, the vehicles. The flying potatoes, the Thunderhawks. Those are all crewed by firstborn. I don't see they're too far away to depict out firstborn. Look at the design of the land speeders. Only firstborn marines can fit in those land speeders. Yeah, but the you're you're, you're assuming you're assuming that they're being war consistent, Cirrus. Because every other ground uh, unit they've enough. depicted is Primaris. Um, I, if we're being generous, they I'm pretty sure they just forgot that those are that those are housed by firstborn. Yeah, but at least they just the, selected some we'll random vehicles on. I think they just selected some random vehicles in the catalog and didn't bother. Because every other unit here is depicted as Primaris. In terms of ground yeah, units. Fair enough. Also, I just noticed that the bodyguard are short are shorter than the Primaris intercessors. They're like it, it, it's it's not noticeable for at first, but I, you, I can definitely see that the way they're drawn, they're slightly shorter for some reason. Well, uh, that and the ones on the side here, are, those are aggressors, so they're bigger than normal Primaris. The ones on yeah, the side there. I already figured that out myself. Okay, yeah, I was just pointing that out. So, uh, in comparison to issues one and two, what do you, how does this one stack up against those? This it's one's worse? Somehow even worse. Wait, this one's actually worse than issue two? Mm-hmm. Wow. I would say yes. I would say yes. I mean, for one, the quote-unquote warp hazard 
and well, I mean, we just we we read it. We know what's wrong with it. Do we really have to spell out what's wrong? The the thing is, I know you think the second one is worse because of the Calgar reveal that it really isn't Calgar. Well, but I just and... want to point out that's one single major issue with some smaller ones throughout that comic. This one has bigger issues depicted throughout it. Well, the issue too also had was also the one that established the chaos, the abandoned chaos outpost on a, on the ultramarine training move. Mm-hmm. And they continue to double down on it here. Yeah, you're right Doubling on that. down on something is usually worse than establishing it. Mm-hmm. And in this one, they confirmed that the planet really is an official training location for the ultramarines. Yeah. Where in the second one, you can make the argument that, oh, maybe he just lied to their families and manipulated the whole thing. You know what? Here. No. Yeah, so I stand corrected. I genuinely stand there's... corrected. You're right. Okay, so there is actually a page after that that we were looking at, and I, I'm assuming it's supposed to be a look at the next comics' cover or something. Yeah, it normally and is. And it is hideous. It is ugly. It is horrible. What the fuck? Whoever drew that clearly does not know what muscles are or how anatomy works. Maybe this is what a person that drinks soy all the time thinks muscles look like. You know what? <laughs> that is... That is... Considering it's Marvel, that is very true. Probably. Most likely. Mm-hmm. Also, I love how his crotch is just covered in purity seals. <laughs> yes, he has the most pure penis in all the Imperium. <laughs> Officially certified. <laughs> <laughs> oh christ i hate it so much <sighs> so looking forward to issue four whenever it comes out uh -uh. <laughs> me neither uh mccorgy says mr corgi says look at his feet They're yes fucked up yes you that yeah, does that, not look... that's the first thing I noticed. Also, the toes, my god, and the knee. Ugh. Everything is just. It's like I, I will say this: this is a great preview because it depicts all the pain and suffering we're going to go through when we have to read that too. Yes. <laughs> all right. <sighs> All right, so I guess we, this is a good time to call it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'll go ahead and uh, leave you all to it. I'm sure you're both wanting to get back into Cyberpunk 2077. I'm certainly what am myself. Both. Fairly shortly, I will be. I'm probably going to go get something to eat. All right, well, have a good one. Have a good one, everyone. This has been Ace. As began. Serious from the Tactics Pod. And we will see you all again next week. Bye-bye.